Good morning. It's the 28th of March, 2024, and you're listening to Hot Topic and Fresh News. We've got some major news to share. A Baltimore bridge has collapsed after a ship struck it, resulting in the tragic loss of at least two lives, with four workers still missing. The salvage operation has been impeded by hazardous materials and debris in the water, making the search for the missing construction workers a daunting task. Moreover, the red pickup truck from which two bodies were recovered has been identified as belonging to Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and Dorlian Ronial Castillo Cabrera, both construction workers. The ship involved, named Dali, was en route to Sri Lanka when it lost power and crashed into the bridge. The incident has far-reaching implications, not just in terms of human loss, but also for the U.S. and global economies. Maryland Governor Wes Moore has labeled this a global crisis, as the bridge collapse at this vital port could potentially affect up to 8,000 jobs and disrupt global supply chains. The potential daily losses are estimated to be in millions until the shipping lane is reopened. As we wait for more information about the cause of the collision, recovery and replacement efforts for the bridge are already underway. Stay tuned for more detailed coverage on these pressing issues. Good morning, I'm Emily, your go-to news anchor here at Hot Topic and Fresh News, your daily podcast for all the important and timely news you need to know. We're here every day bringing you the latest, the greatest, and sometimes even the most unbelievable headlines. Joining me today and every day is our resident commentator, David. He's a man who knows his stuff, a keen observer of the world stage, always ready with a fresh perspective on the news we're about to unpack. Pleasure to be here, Emily. It's always a great day when we get to delve into the news and explore what's happening in our world. Absolutely, David. Today's headlines are especially gripping. We're about to dive into a story that's not just a local crisis, it's a global one. So if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, enable notifications, share the podcast with your friends, drop us a comment, and let us know your thoughts. Your support is what keeps this podcast going. Now we have a headline that has shocked us all. Can you imagine a bridge collapse impacting global supply chains? Well, you don't have to imagine it, it's happening right now. So buckle up and stay tuned. This is Hot Topic and Fresh News, hot off the press. So, we have a collapsed bridge in Baltimore that's taken lives and has far-reaching implications. Can we start with the human tragedy first? How many workers were on that bridge when the incident occurred? There were eight workers on the bridge at the time of the incident. Two of them were rescued on the day itself, but the other six are presumed dead. And the rescue operations, how are they progressing considering the complicated conditions? The conditions are indeed challenging, Divers have already found two bodies in a submerged truck. They have now switched to sonar scans because of the hazardous debris in the water. Can you tell us more about the victims? Four of the six victims have been identified. Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and Dorlian Ronial Castillo Cabrera were the workers recovered. Fuentes was from Mexico and Cabrera from Guatemala. Two others missing have been named as Miguel Luna from El Salvador and Maynor Suazo Sandoval from Honduras. Moving on to the broader implications, how does this incident impact us on a larger scale? It's a significant blow to both the U.S. and global economies. The bridge collapse impacts a vital port and could affect up to 8,000 jobs. It also threatens to disrupt global supply chains and cause daily losses in millions until the shipping lane is reopened. That is indeed concerning. Let's hope for the speediest recovery possible. Now, what do we know about the cause of the collision? The ship involved in the collision did not sink, which means officials will have access to bridge records and potentially recordings of the incident. They're hoping a data recorder from the ship will provide more insights. The ship named Dali was headed towards Sri Lanka when it suddenly lost power and crashed into the bridge. Thank you for that detailed account. It seems like a tragic incident with widespread repercussions Let's hope for a swift resolution. To add to the complexity, the cargo vessel involved in the incident is carrying 1.5 million gallons of fuel oil and lube oil. 
It also had approximately 4,700 cargo containers on board, 56 of which contained hazardous materials. That's quite alarming. Can you give us an idea of what sort of hazardous materials we're talking about? The exact details haven't been disclosed, but hazardous materials could range from industrial chemicals to radioactive substances. Containers with such materials have been breached, meaning potentially hazardous substances could be leaking into the water. And the efforts to clean up this mess. The U.S. Navy plans to use heavy lift cranes on barges to remove the bridge parts that fell in the water. It won't be a quick process, and it's crucial not to rush given the precarious nature of the situation. We talked about the human toll and the ecological impact. Can you help us understand how this bridge collapse could hit our pockets? Certainly. This bridge is part of a key port that handles a large volume of global trade. Last year, 63.4 billion pounds of cargo moved through this port. It's estimated that the bridge collapse could lead to losses of up to 11.8 million pounds per day until the shipping lane is reopened. That's a staggering figure. How would this affect an everyday consumer? A disruption to the supply chain can cause a domino effect. For instance, if a shipment of electronics parts gets delayed, that could impact the production and availability of smartphones or laptops in stores, potentially leading to price hikes. The ripple effects can reach far and wide. The investigation into the cause of the collision is still in progress. One aspect being considered is whether dirty fuel could have contributed to the incident. Dirty fuel? Could you explain how that might create an issue for a vessel? Sure. Maritime experts say that contaminated fuel can cause problems with a ship's main power generators. In some cases, this could even lead to a complete blackout on the ship. And in this case, a blackout could have led to the vessel losing control and colliding with the bridge. That's correct but we must stress that this is just one possible factor under investigation. The exact cause of the crash is still unknown. The investigators are thoroughly examining all possible angles to ensure they have a comprehensive understanding of what led to this tragic event. That wraps up another episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News. We've delved into the details of a major global event and we appreciate you taking this journey with us. We can't stress enough how much your participation matters. So remember to subscribe, activate those notifications, and keep the conversation going in our comments section. Let's keep this amazing community growing, share our podcast with your friends, family, or anyone you know who loves to stay informed. Absolutely, unlike that cargo vessel, we don't want you getting off course. So make sure you're here every day, and hey, if you think we're just about the serious stuff, just wait until you catch some of our lighter takes on the world's events. Our deepest thanks for tuning in, and we're eager to have you join us for the next episode. Until then, David and Emily, stay in the loop, keep your eyes on the news, our channel's content will amuse.